hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well today's tutorial shall be a sewing tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be sewing a short pant if you are yet to watch the pattern drafting tutorial i'll put the link down in the description box so that you can do that so in this video i'll be showing you how you can attach the zip to the side other options are the front and the back but if you are making it for a client or you want it to look more professional front and the side are the best options and I have a tutorial on the channel on how you can attach the zipper to the front. And I also have a tutorial on the channel on how you can attach the zipper to the back. So in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on attaching the zipper to the side. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. On this channel, I share pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. Kindly subscribe and also remember to put on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. So guys, let's get started. To get started, fold your fabric into two in order to cut out two pieces at a time. Then place the pattern on it and cut it out. So you cut out the front, the back and the band. So I've cut it out and this is what we have. So for the band, I have two pieces for the band and I cut it on fold. The same thing for the front band two pieces cut it on fold for the pocket i have four pieces two pieces for the main fabric and two pieces for the lining for the front pattern i have two pieces for the back pattern i have two pieces then i also have a short zip so once you've cut it out the the next thing you will do is to transfer the dart to the fabric so here i'm using a tracing wheel you can use any other method that you prefer so i'm using the tracing wheel to trace out the dart to the fabric so i have it traced out already on the fabric and then we're going to be working on the front and the pockets now so remember we have four pieces for the pocket two two pieces for the lining and two pieces for the main fabric so you will pick that two pieces for the for the lining and then you place it underneath the front pieces just like i'm doing here so and you make sure that the waistline of the pocket which is the lining of the pocket align together with the waistline of the trouser then you mark down between six and a half and seven inches just make sure that your you can you play you can place your hand as a guide and then at the waistline you mark one and a half inches so from that point just draw a slanted line to connect these two points so you can leave it like that or you make it a little bit curved so depending on how you want it so once you've done that then you cut it out either the curved one or the straight one whichever one you prefer so you cut it out okay so once you've cut it out you you're going to separate the two pieces of the front and then you make sure that the crotch extension area faces each other so you spread it out make sure the crotch extension area faces each other like this and then you're going to pick the lining the lining that you place underneath earlier you will now place it on top of it just like i'm doing here so that is the pocket lining now you are going to place it on top and then you pin it down then you're going to stitch it together following the shape that you have there and then you're also going to sew the dart So I've stitched it together and I've also sewn the dart. So this is what we have. So once you have this, then you go ahead and notch it just a little bit in, so that it will be flat when you iron it. Then you turn it to the right side so here you can top stitch that curved part you can top stitch it if you like and you can leave it like that if you don't want to top stitch it 
Now you're going to be needing the remaining two pieces for the pocket and then you're going to be placing this underneath. So you can see the way I'm doing it. You place it underneath. Make sure the waistline align together and make sure the side line align together. So go ahead and pin it together. So once you've pinned it, turn it to the other side. So now you have the two pieces for the pocket together and then you're going to stitch it following that shape. So you do the same thing to the other side. I've stitched it together and this is what we have. So that is what the wrong side looks like. So the next thing you're going to be doing now is to place the two pieces together. Right side facing each other. And then you're going to stitch it at the crotch extension area. And then this is the back. So for the back, go ahead and sew the dots on the back. And then you also stitch it together at the crotch extension area. So this is what we have. This is the front. So as you can see, it, I've stitched it together. And then this is the back. So I've sewn the dart and I've also stitched it together at the crotch extension area. So what you're going to be doing next is to work on the band. So you have two pieces for the band. So you're going to place this together, right side facing each other, and then you stitch it at the top line. You do the same thing to the, to the back. So place the right side facing each other, then you stitch it at the top line. I've done stitching and then I went ahead to iron it. I used the half an inch seam allowance to iron it. If you do it this way, it will make it very easy for you and you will also have a neat finishing. So once you've done stitching, make sure you iron it and fold it in just like I've done here. So next we're going to be placing the, is it at the front or the back, whichever one, you place it like that. Just, you see the way I'm doing it and then you fold it back and pin it down so you pin it also at the middle just to secure it so you can see what we have at the wrong side and that's the front then you go ahead and top stitch on it then you do the same thing to the back or the front pin it together pin it at the middle make sure everything aligned together then you top stitch so i've done top stitching and this is what we have that is the front That's the wrong side. You can see how neat it is. So that's the back. That's the wrong side of the back. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to place the front and the back together so that we can go ahead and attach the zip. So we're going to be attaching the zip to the, to the side, just like I've said earlier. So you decide which side you want to, you want the zip to be. So once you've decided, then you're going to be placing the zip from the top line, from the waistline now, you're going to be placing the zip just like I've done. And then before the end of the zip, you will mark it just like I'm doing now. And then from the M line, draw a straight line, make sure the line is straight, draw it to that point. So you're going to stitch that point and leave the upper part for the zip. So I've done that here, as you can see it. And that's the upper part for the zip. So you go ahead and attach the zip. Hold me close till I get up. Time is and if you would like to have it invisible, you can go ahead and attach an invisible zip to the side. It will make it look neater. So if you know how to fix an invisible shape, go ahead and do that. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, through the sun rays. And I
Okay, so I'm done fixing the sip and this is what it looks like. So you go ahead and fold it back. We're going to be stitching the other side now. So you can cross check your measurements. And then from the waistline, you sew it down to the M line. And then also you're going to be sewing the inseam part, which is the underneath the crotch area. So you sew that part after stitching the side. So you go ahead and sew that part. And once you've done with that part, then you will, you will be left with the M line. So fold the M line twice and then you sew it round. So I'll go ahead and do that and I will show you guys the final look. Okay guys, this is the final look. It really came out so, so beautiful. I hope this was helpful. If yes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comment down in the comment section. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.